GTA 6, the game that we all have been waiting for, well, since I guess 2013 when GTA 5 came out, and then it came out again, and again, and again, and again, or I think there's even more agains. Rockstar, the company that makes Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, and Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, obviously other games, have been working on GTA 6 for the past many years. We don't exactly know when they began the production, but there was a few leaks and rumors over the past few years that GTA 6 is in production, yada yada. Then there was an official announcement from Rockstar being like, yes, it is happening. And then if you don't remember, there was a ginormous leak where basically the game itself leaked. It's like most earliest version, not fully finished, but it basically confirmed a lot of leaks of two characters being inside of the game, a male and a female. It being set in Vice city which is really nice to see returning into the gta universe especially in the next generation and ever since then there's been little leaks and rumors here and there that i'll be covering in today's video that have led up to basically now where we kind of know when potentially the game will be releasing and that's what i'm going to be covering today's video i've always been a rockstar fan red redemption 2 is like one of my favorite games and i have to say one of because there's obviously other games like last of us god of war god of War ragnarok that they all kind of compete but Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably one of the greatest games ever made and if you've never played it what are you doing and of course Grand Theft Auto which personally I grew up on uh, being very young and played that game probably didn't you know influence me the best for the future but hey I turned out okay I think so anyway I think and of course I'm really excited for GTA 6 to come out so I kind of want to make a few videos where we'll be going over the leaks and rumors and trying to see if any of this will be lining up and becoming true so let's get on to the most recent leaks which essentially confirmed that number one the game will be 100% next generation and unfortunately no PC release date straight away this was kind of a given it's always like that with Rockstar games they first release it on consoles and then later down the line they release it on PC which allows people to mod the game and things like that and it also makes sense why it's not going to be going to last gen this game is potentially going to be releasing soon ish but let's be totally honest it is going to be most likely releasing a bit too far into the last generation's life cycle where the game would be basically limited to what it is able to do but there is a brand new leak which essentially is coming from a pretty reliable source called tez 2 and this is where this person delves into the potential release date of GTA 6. But it starts off saying their aimed always changing not set in stone deadline is holiday 2024. If you don't know what holiday 2024 means, essentially Christmas, usual time for games to release. It's probably one of the most famous times because that's when, you know, people have Christmas and they're like, hey, buy me this game. And the games just really sell very well towards the end of the year and then at the beginning of the year, it's always surrounding Christmas, which has been pushing back multiple times the past few years, meaning that the game basically was supposed to release years ago, but obviously COVID-19 and all of that stuff has definitely affected the production of the game. Unfortunately, it could slip into early 2025 as well. This leak is essentially giving us an estimate of when we should be expecting it, which is either the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. And again, take that with a grain of salt because potentially this could release in 2026, 2027, 2028. Basically, you'll be 30 years old by the time this game comes out. Well, I will be, personally. Well, no, 2024, I'll be 23. 2025, I'll be 24. Oh, God, I'll be so old. Now, this forum does go on to talk about essentially the way the COVID-19 and the virus and everything has affected the businesses and how companies have been working and working from home. Well, now everybody's coming back and working on the game. With almost the entirety of the workforce in office, Rockstar could be more firm about an announcement this year, yet losing work talent could very much lead to more delays. I personally see an announcement as a given this year. I don't think the upper management is in position to delay further to holiday 2025 or 2026, so basically they're just gonna have to force release it, which is a terrible thing because that basically could potentially mean we're going to be getting Cyberpunk 2.0 and cutting more portions of the game to package into DLCs to release later on may be sustainable for management than delaying further. Now, this is another topic that I want to talk about. Basically, the game won't be fully releasing fully, fully, if you want to look at it like that. Now, I don't know if this essentially means that the story won't be fully completed and we're going to be have to wait for the story to release in full and 
like a free release date over time or if this means some side quests just won't be inside of the game and over time we'll be getting them basically coming out it's a bit of an interesting situation and i would love to see what you think this could potentially mean does this specifically talk about online because let's be totally honest rockstar is going to be heavily concentrating on online because it's gta if we look at gta 5 it's probably one of the most successful things which personally i'm not a huge fan of gta 5 it's just become this mess of money 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 and it's real life money and in-game money it's just a mess i personally don't really like the way gta 5 online came out gta 5 as a whole like the campaign the gameplay it's great obviously because it is gta i'm worried that gta 6 will turn into that fingers crossed it doesn't do that straight away and is actually fun at the beginning 2024 or 2025 does seem like a very very possible release date but there's even more because we might be getting a trailer this year and i don't think it's a might i think it's a death now there's even more information that i want to get into potentially there's going to be a ginormous sony event if you don't know sony does their like state of plays every so often now and they haven't been that big of a deal the last one that was huge was back in 2021 i will never forget it they announced wolverine spider-man 2 showed us gameplay for god of War ragnarok it was an insane time and it was mind-blowing and ever since then sony hasn't really done an event that has topped that or been anywhere similar to that kind of a scale until now with recent rumors and leaks the next one is supposed to be mind-blowing and the only thing that i could personally think of apart from just exclusive playstation games is a gta 6 trailer if a GTA 6 trailer is showed, it is going to break the internet. The leaks that did come out, which unfortunately I'm not able to show you, did break the internet for obvious reasons. It's a leak, and on top of that is GTA 6, one of the most highly demanded video games out there by people of all ages, from adults who just love GTA and have played it from their childhood, like myself or even older, to now kids who are obsessed with GTA 5 but getting a bit burnt out and they want to upgrade. When GTA 6 releases, no matter what stage it is in it's probably gonna sell millions of copies now it is rockstar rockstar always delivers really really high quality games and if i remember red Dead redemption 2 did go through a bit of a messy situation where they did announce a release date and unfortunately that didn't get like fully delivered it kept on getting delayed but for great reasons because the game did release and it is amazing to this day and hopefully that does happen to gta 6 if that does mean they have to cut some content and release it later down the line fingers crossed for free you know what that's okay at least give me the full campaign and at least a gta campaign experience and then if it, that means that multiplayer or online will take a bit longer i'm totally fine with that i'm not huge into online on gta either way so i will be enjoying my time on campaign and yeah that's only some of the leaked news and information that's out there i'll be covering as much information on gta 6 as i can because i'm super excited for this game and this does interest me personally so if it does interest you as well be sure to subscribe we're going to be kind of covering multiple different games zombies that this dude blah blah blue so be sure to subscribe be sure to drop a like a video as that does really help out 40,000 subscribers here we come and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out